You want to know what one year of learning game development looks like? Then let's get started. So one year ago I started game development by using the Gato game engine with this Pong clone which doesn't even start. And that's because I wanted to learn a lot more than developing a Pong clone so I jumped right into this project. It should turn into a pixel art RPG based on a fantasy story I had in my mind, but what a surprise I never finished it. Anyways here is the progress I made. So obviously you could walk around, switch between those two characters which I'll do because the green guy is way more interesting. He had a pretty simple inventory, could shoot with his bow, and kill this enemy. But if I release the left mouse button and the loading animation wasn't finished, the arrow just drops out of the bow and does way less damage if you hit someone. The next thing are the special abilities you could unlock. I decided to show you this one because it made the most fun when testing the game. So when you equipped an ability, you had to wait until this bar was completely filled before using it. In this case the ability lets you zoom out to see the enemies way better and shoots a very powerful arrow. Sadly I shot this bush so no enemy died. However, here is the last thing I want to show you about this game. So this was supposed to be the story mode. You had to go to bed and then you'll awake in this world, and have a little dialogue with this lion-like creature. When the dialogue finished you automatically follow the lion and enter this weird level. Then the time came, where I decided to switch to the Unity game engine and started my first project there. It was Boom, a Pong clone I made in 4 days as a small challenge for myself. A Pong clone I made in 4 days as a small challenge for myself. And that's because I wanted to learn a lot more than developing a Pong clone. It featured a little shop to buy some more levels, and a section to upgrade your power-ups, which is at the moment just a slow motion effect. But now let's start an endless game, which isn't really endless but anyways, let's do it. So it's basically Pong, nice. but because the rest of the game isn't very interesting we'll jump right into my first game jam game called The Trapper of Rangoria, which was made for the mashup game jam with my mate Diego who made the art, music and sound effects. The theme of the game jam was, the size matters, so we decided to go for this tower defense game where different size traps kill different sized enemies. To place a trap costs some money and every time they hit an enemy, or get hit by an enemy of the wrong size, they lose health and can be destroyed. As you can see to kill this enemy took 2 hits, but when I upgrade the trap it just needs 1. All this was made within 72 hours and if you want to play this game, boom or the next game, you can do it for free on my itch.io page link to it is in the description. So the next game is called The Last Light and was created with Diego for a game jam in 2 days. This time the theme was, One Light Source, and we came up with this game where you have to keep your light alive by collecting wood, avoid or later kill those monsters and reach the boss to defeat him. Of course this game has sound effects and music but for some reason I wasn't able to record the sound of my browser. That's it with this game, if you want you can discover it on your own because now I want to show you my first 3D game made in Unity. So this game should turn as well into a RPG based on the fantasy story I had in mind, but this time in 3D. I guess I developed it for 6 months before I quit because I noticed it was way too much for a single person. But while I recorded this video I could only find a version of the game after 3 months of development. As you could see I implemented an inventory, and you were able to equip weapons, armor and potions. Other features, were the minimap, a health mana and hunger bar, and a window that shows you what quest you are following. Then I got my hands the first time on some AI and made this enemy behavior. I also had a chest and trading system some spells with visual effects and a first level, but as I said unfortunately I couldn't find that version of the game. And now finally we come to my current and last project in my first year of learning game development, my multiplayer horror game The Dog. This is footage of my latest devlog. If you want to get more information about it I can highly recommend my devlog playlist which you can check out in the top right corner or however you want, I'm sure you'll find a way to it. The game is still in development but I hope we can get a demo ready in the first quarter of 2021, and that's it. Please let me know what you think about the progress I have made, and if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe activate the bell and leave a like for the algorithm. Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next video.